So today's gospel reading came from Matthew 28, where Christ is speaking to his apostles and tells them to go around and baptize everyone in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, which this reading is read on the solemnity of the Most Holy Trinity. So we are reflecting on the Trinity today, and St. Patrick had gone around and he basically spread through Ireland this idea trying to explain the Trinity and the concept of a three-leaf clover, saying that it was the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and that they all came together as one. Um, when St. Augustine reflected on the Trinity, he had ultimately said that there was no way that we would ever fully be able to understand it, which I think is true to an extent, but I think that there's more available to us. Um, so I talk about this and why I choose Christianity, but I'll just reiterate it here. So when we look at ourselves, we are ultimately a three-in-one being also. So we're a mind, body, spirit entity. And when we are baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, so, so first in, in understanding that, that the Bible teaches that we are made in the image of God. So when we're baptized by, in the name of the Son, so, so that's like our body, and then there's the Father, which is like our mind and knowledge and wisdom, and then there's the Holy Spirit, which demonstrates all of the fruits of the Spirit, the love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. So when we're baptized it, in the name of the Trinity, we're then available, we have this availability to God to transform our lives in each of those regards to how, how God initially created us in His image. So... We can transform our bodies to act more as Christ did and to be, you know, the person that Christ was in his example. And then we have the mind, which is the Father, all wisdom, all knowledge. And there's only going to be that one truth, that one firm interpretation of Scripture. So we have doctrine, we have the Ten Commandments, we have the Bible to reference in order to, to fully attain what it is and how it is the Father thinks. And then we have the Holy Spirit, which we can submit our spirit to in order to reflect that exactly and, and and produce those fruits that we're called to produce. So so the Trinity I I had a hard time accepting it for a long time and then once I finally understood it and understand understood why it was that, that God wanted us to be, you know, becoming more like him and everything else and how Christ is actually a part of that. Um, and then in, in the Eucharist, in the Catholic Church, to actually be able to consume him and to, to, to physically become more like him and, and be a part of him and the fullness of the community of the body of Christ physically and literally, um, it, it blows my mind away. So um, th those are my feelings for today, though, I uh, wanted to share. So feel free to ask any questions or add any comments, and I'll look forward to reading and responding to those. And be sure to share and subscribe, and I will see you again next week. Have a great day. Happy Sunday.